Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're joined by a special guest, Tracy from TierraCast, and we're talking about the latest Spring Roundup collection from TierraCast. This is a great collection filled with crimp ends, clasps that you're going to love using in your designs, and even a great little kit that we're going to demo for you. So let's round up some new TierraCast items! Hello, Art Beaters! It's Becky from ArtBeats.com, and I've got a special guest today, Tracy from TierraCast. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Becky, and hi, everyone. It's just so nice to be here. Yes, I'm so excited that you are able to join me today. We're going to be talking about some new TierraCast items, your spring roundup, correct? Spring Roundup, and it's a small group, but um, it was really some wonderful items that just weren't quite ready for some previous launches. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we rounded them up, and yeah. um, and there's some really wonderful, uh, really useful, useful parts. Wonderful! I'm so excited to jump in, take a look at them. We've got um, they're available in all kinds of beautiful finishes, and we've also got some jewelry inspiration for you and a kit as well. New kit. We've been trying to include at least one new kit with all of our um, uh, with all of our launches so far this year, and even going into last year because um, quarantine, COVID, and and how it affected everybody's lives. You know, people were trapped at home. Kits just became so popular, so we wanted to respond to that. So we've started trying to include some with each product launch we do. Yeah, kits are so great because they do come with everything you need, so you're ready to just get started right away. And this mm -hmm. is a really good one that we're going to demo for you today. Mm -hmm. So super excited. And we've got some comments. Anne says hi. Kimberly says hi, Tracy and Becky. Hello, Hello all. Kimberly. Anne says hi from California. Hi, Anne. <laughs> Yay! So let's dive in and take a look at this spring roundup. Yay! <laughs> so so you, I, have them here. Now I, have a, I have a workspace with that you've got it covered. You're good. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we make that the big guy. Um, yeah, so we have got, where should we start? Should we start with the these foldover uh, crimp ends? So crimp ends. I did not grab any of the older ones and I wish I had because um, I was just working with them yesterday. So crimp ends are a product that we brought out um, in 2019. We had this wonderful launch we called Finishing Touches and it was it was really all products for finishing designs. So it was a bunch of end, end components. So several of the, um, <clears throat> the components in this little group are are from those ideas and the crimp ends are made to work with show the side view becky so you can see that they're they're open so they will fit over a um a piece a, a jewelry design that's either that's some thick material so it might be seed beads it might be leather um it, the it's really flexible because the opening is adjustable so you would either widen it or tighten it depending on your material and then you would either glue it or crimp it or a combination of both to secure it to your design now with seed beads you would want to adjust it to fit as well as popular and then use adhesive you wouldn't want to squeeze it to hold because you don't want to break your seed beads right mm -hmm. So, um, so they're extremely versatile. And this one, as soon as we came out with that original group, people were going, oh, can we get bigger ones? So this is, so we've gradually tried to make some, some larger ones. This is the largest yet. And um, size. yeah, and it was very inspired by the Western um, and Western style and traditional silver work that we incorporated into our Wild West launch, but this one wasn't ready. This one wasn't quite ready to be included in that group. So we're pretty thrilled with it. And you can see that it's got it's got a dimensional embellishment on the front that's like um, kind of traditional silver work. And then because our product development manager didn't want it to get too thick, she decided to make the reverse side just an incised design. It's the same design, it's just, yeah, so it's really kind of unique. It makes it versatile you can use choose whichever side you want to be the front facing case yeah. So, yeah so 
So yeah, and it's and it's big. So we're we are hoping that people will love that. Yes, and you mentioned seed beads. I think also like fringe too, like tassels. And oh yeah, leather strands, ribbon. Oh my right. God. So right. many, so many things you could do with this. So beautiful. Absolutely. So I'm really excited about those. And then we've got some nice little toggle clasps here, which are also mm -hmm. featured in the kit that we'll be showing later. Right, so that toggle, the size is very, very intentional. It's a slightly smaller toggle. Um, and it is the same size as one of our oldest toggle clasps that we call the bar and ring, which is just a very basic little bar and ring toggle. Um, it's that size and it is our best selling toggle and has been for as long as we've had it. So we wanted to give people another option in that size. It's a great size because you can use it for both necklaces and bracelets. And I love, even though these are um, a little smaller, they're, they're so detailed. There's really They've got a lovely little etched, almost kind of a florally um, detailing. And then because this one also was influenced by the Wild West launch from last fall, it's got that little concho detail. Mm -hmm. so, um, so yeah, we're pretty pleased with how, with how that one came out. Really nice, I love that. Yeah, I could see myself adding this to all of my designs. <laughs> <laughs> and it's neutral, it's got that Western influence, but it's really so, so subtle that it's very, you could use it with a lot of different kind of themes. All kinds of different styles, for sure. Yeah. And then we've got these amazing magnetic clasps in a couple different sizes and styles. And these are really strong, as you can see, yep. which is great. I'm noticing that you've got them very spread out on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they, they clump yes. together. Which is mm -hmm. good when you're wearing them, because then they don't come undone. Um, mm -hmm. So nice. So this is kind of the hammer tone uh, surface, mm -hmm. and that one is available in a couple different mm -hmm. sizes. Now these are great for seed beads as well, too. So these stitch in, these magnetic clasps that of this type are um, this now goes back to that uh, 2019 finishing touches launch when we released products that were intended to work with seed beads. So those little loops are spaced very carefully and they're sized kind of to, um, to play very nicely with size eight seed beads. Um, and they're spaced so that they, and you know, seed beads have just so much variation. So um, it's, it's always an engineering project, but they're, um, they're sized to work very well with seed beads. And so we originally had have some, uh, little like decorative ends and then we also did that work with these magnetic clasps so and the original one was a two loop and so we added an additional finish in the two loop and that's the, ha the hammer tone and then we again we had people ask us for longer ones and um and so we attempted a three loop and so that's what we've got there and we've got that one in two styles the hammer tone and the temple Yes, and the temple has this beautiful temple design on it. So pretty yeah. um, gorgeous. And, those, and I love the the width of these is perfect for like a seed bead bracelet, mm -hmm. like a peyote cuff or a loom piece, right. or stitch. I pulled out, you know, you and I were talking about using this with se these products with seed beads. And so I pulled out a whole bunch of little samples of them used with different yes. beads. Can we when see you those? Sure, let me pull in my tray. So I'm, I'm, gonna switch, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna switch my camera. Okay. Oh. All right, so what we've got here, this is these all go back to when we were first working on this um, product group. We needed to test them. There's, mm -hmm. you know, shaped be there's so many shaped beads and um and different size seed beads in styles the magnets are trying to stick together um so we really wanted to um play with all the different stuff so um we used of course the size eight seed beads let me pick one that's good coloring that you guys will be able to see so with this one is that coming into focus very well here we go yeah there you go Hold on, I'm gonna cover the rest of this stuff up so maybe it'll focus a little better. 
and find my camera. That's always a trick. So you can see here, um, this prototype actually has three metal loops, but it's not one that uh, we move forward with. We, we decided with the finished product, it only has two loops because you okay. can you can fit the three size C, uh, size eight seed beads in between the loops. So um, this looks like it's just a brick stitch or square stitch. Sorry, not brick stitch, square stitch. Um, this, uh, let me, I'm just going to pull a couple out at a time. So this one is a uh, different stitch. It's peyote. And uh, so now we've got the actual sample where there's only the two outer loops mm -hmm. and then a little bit of um, size eight pe peyote stitch in there or brick maybe. Sometimes, yeah, this is brick, sorry. Um, and then, of course, we were testing them with all the shape beads too, so you've got super oh, duos. Cool. Yeah, there's just, there's a lot you can do and with the different um, shaped beads. Um, yeah, and this so, is great to see, to inspire right. these different shapes. <laughs> so there's this, that's the stitch in, um, the stitch in end bars, but mm -hmm. then there's also the same, um, the same uh, specs were used to create the um, the stitch in toggle clasp as well. And you can see that again, these were prototypes when we were first developing this product line. This one has three loops and we backed it for the finished designs. We backed it down to just two loops. Wow. So they're just really versatile and really fun. Yeah, I love that, that display. Somebody, Kimberly said, nice sampling. Yeah, that's a beautiful look at all the different ways you can use those. Yeah, there was a whole lot of little seed bead sampling going on at that yes. time. And then this one, let me zoom out a tiny bit. This is just the finished designs that we ended up doing for um, when we were actually launching all of those parts. Since that time, we added a second one of the stitch and end bars that we used here with um, that design. And then this was some ginkgo shaped beads which i love they're one of my favorite shaped beads oh um, and that looks so good with that temple design too because it has that kind of curvy kind yes, of design. exactly yeah and then so they're just versatile so they're really a fun little um uh, product group to play with Really nice. Wow, those are some great examples. Yeah, so I'm really excited about those magnetic clasps. Again, they're really strong and they just, the fact that you can work them right into your bead weaving is so nice. It's amazing. And something people um, should know about the opening and closing of them is that it's best to just slide them apart. Slide, if, you, yeah. if you try to pull them apart like this, it's, well, for one thing, we didn't create them so that there's anything to really grip onto. Um, yeah, they've got and, a really nice continuous look when they're closed. Yeah. So sliding from side to side is the best way to get those. Um, okay, that's a yeah. good idea. So that's awesome. fun. We're pretty happy that we were successfully uh, able to um, do them in the larger size. Yeah, they're really great. And that's going to be wonderful for all kinds of different seed bead designs and clearly other bead shapes as well. And we've got ginkgos in there. Right, right. Brick shapes. So really nice. Very cool. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so are we ready to show off how to make the kit, which is also available at artbeads.com, the Western Lace Earrings Kit, which is also part of this new right. TerraCast Spring Roundup launch. Right. That's what that's what we've got here. Okay. And what we what we used was the toggle ring for I love that. Right. Because people don't necessarily think of using toggle rings for design components. Because then you're like, well, what am I going to do with the toggle bar? Well, you set the toggle bar aside so that you can use it with some other piece that you can turn into a toggle clasp. Yeah. Um, in, this really case, in this case, the, the bars aren't in the kits, just the rings. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, are we going to demo together or shall I just break into this and start? Yeah, let's let's let you demo and then um, I will show some variations that we can do with this. Okay, so um, the kits come with a fabulous little instruction card. And we always, with lots of little, it's the, the, um, the leather is a, um, what we call a flat suede lace. So it's um, a very thin, 
a very thin, delicate. I love this stuff. It's so kind of so soft. Lovely. Yeah, it's soft. Um, and it's very thin. So it's not like your traditional thick suede lace. It's a very thin suede lace called flat suede lace. And um, it's attached to the toggle ring with a uh, lark's head knot. So there's nice little diagrams in the instructions um, for the lark's head knot. And um, so that little kit, that little card is included in there. And it's a pretty simple little design. It's just, it's got the two toggle rings. It's got two gold filled ear wires. It's got two little large hole beads, uh, spacer beads, ours. And then it's got two um, large hole gemstone beads. So it's pretty quick and easy to put together. And the first thing it's got about, um, I think the length of, of um, the flat suede lace is <clears throat> 13 inches. So you, the first thing you're gonna do is cut that in half. And then the second thing you're gonna do, or at least that I like to do, and I actually, I'm pretty sure I included that in the instructions, is I'm gonna cut those at an angle. And that's just gonna help when I'm threading threading those ends through little tiny little tiny um uh stringing holes. yeah so then i'm just going to make a lark said knot the the design on these toggle rings is slightly different front and back so it's not a huge difference but you just do want to pay attention to which side you want to face forward so let me move some of this stuff aside so it's not cluttery so um, the first thing I want to do, I've decided I want this side to the front. So I'm going to poke, I'm going to fold my little, I cut my longer piece of suede lace in half and I took one of those and folded it in half and I'm tucking that fold into the, um, into the uh, toggle ring. And then I'm just going to tuck those ends gracefully. <laughs> through that loop and pull that down. That's my Lark's head knot. Easy. And I, I got pretty lucky. Um, at this point, you might want to check and see how you your length ended up and you want to um, even those up or not, depending on what you want to do. So I'm going to even it up a little bit. And you'd also at this point want to make sure that you're um, that your leather strap is not twisted and that it's just kind of arranged how you want it. I'm being a little bit fussy, making sure it's all nice and tight. Um, and the next thing I want to do is pick up one of these large hole gemstone beads. And I'm good, I've got a pair of um, sharp nose tweezers and I'm just going to grab those two ends of my, uh, my lace. And I'm going to just tuck those through the hole of that of that gemstone bead. And tweezer, the tweezers really do help with that. They absolutely do. I mean, you could, and part of that is because this this um, suede lace is so soft. Mm -hmm. There's just no resistance. So having the tweezers um, just helps a lot. And then you're going to pick up one of those little spacers and do the same thing. So the large hole beads, um, often uh, a large hole gemstone bead, the hole is going to be between two. I'm trying to get a grip on both of these. There we go. Um, the hole is going to be between two and 2.5 millimeters. So it's pretty easy to tuck that suede lace through there. The hole on our spacers is slightly, is right at two millimeters, you know, a little variation, a little variance, but. Um, it's pretty much two millimeters, slightly smaller, but it's still pretty easy to get them both through there. And you want it to be a tight fit because that's what's going to hold this little bead. Yeah. It's up at the top by the knot. Keeps it in place. Um, right. Now, if you ended up, if you were making these, if you were making variations of this idea without using the kit, mm -hmm. of course, you depending on what lace you were using, you just have to adapt your beads to make sure that they fit the lace. Yes. If you ended up with beads up here where if there were too big of holes and they're sliding down, then you could just like put a little bit of glue inside there. You'd have to be super careful not to let it saturate the 
yeah race but you'd want to do something if you're if you're beads were larger and more loose, you'd want to do something to keep them up in place. Maybe that just means there's a knot there. I don't know. But in this case, you know, we picked the materials pretty carefully. So they, they stay up there nicely. It's a good fit. Very cute. And then yeah. you just add your ear wire. The last thing is just to pop that ear wire on there. I love that. And because it's a loop component of a toggle, it has that small loop at the top, which is perfect for adding mm -hmm. the ear wire. Yeah. And then the last thing you might do is just trim the ends how you want them. Okay. So pretty. Yeah. Easy. So that's Very a great easy. kit. Um, yeah. Love that. And then you would just have to make the other earring and you're done. Yep. So simple. Love that. So that kit is available at rboots.com. Um, along with all of these other components. And Tracy and I were talking and we did talk. We wanted to show um, some variations. You know, once you get this kit and try it out, it might inspire you to do this design in a few different ways. And the great thing about TierraCast is they have a lot of components that works for making variations like this. So I used the hammer tone, um, is that a stitch around yes, hoop? The stitch around hoop. So yeah. this is sold uh, just the hoop. Um, so you could choose your color of of leather. And then um, I used a different um, large hole gemstone bead here. I believe this is African turquoise. And then I used this fun little tear cast spacer. You could go bigger with the teardrop hoop. I love this shape. And that would be cute. I would love to see one in that. That would be gorgeous. Yeah. With the bigger round hoop. And then you could use other toggle styles too. And different finishes. We've got gold here today, but you could use brass, copper, silver. You could even play with the um, spacer style. TerraCast has mm -hmm. some wonderful spacers. You've got this kind of coiled look, this twisted knot look. Yeah, and just with the different spacers and hole sizes, you would want to just adjust whatever cord you're using so that it's going to be a good fit for the hole. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So all kinds of different ways you could take it. And then you could even have fun playing with the different gemstones. I've got some mixed impression jasper large hole gemstones here. And oh, I was are also fun. thinking of um, lamp work beads because those often oh. have large holes. And yeah. that's the natural bead of the month for June. Mm -hmm. So I thought lamp work beads would look just so much fun. Yeah, with that gold. So pretty. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can make this look your own. I say definitely go for the kit and jump in and make it. And then once you feel comfortable with that, start playing around with all the different yeah. components. Yeah, and you have different leather cords. Which one did you use on the one you made on the hoop? So this one I used the um, same kind as you, the the lace. The flat suede. Yeah, the flat, flat suede. Lace. And then I also have some 1.5 millimeter round leather cord. So we could kind of yeah. see how that would look. I tried one with that and I liked the way it came out and it worked well with the, those whole sizes so, and it stayed put. Um, okay. I did use I did use like a natural finish and not one of the bright colored leathers because those tend to be a tiny bit thicker. Okay. Um, so I used the natural and it worked. Um, I see that Sam Siegel is watching in the audience and he's asking if the stones on those kits are appetite. They are, Sam. Oh. Um, at least for now, in this first round of kits, we very intentionally don't put um, what type of stone we put in a kit, because depending on availability, we mean, may need to change that later. That's true, yes, yeah, so that gives oh. us flexibility. Right, but those original ones, they are a, uh, they are appetite. Appetite's such a beautiful color too. Oh, I love it, it's so beautiful. It's like the ocean. Mm-hmm. So let's see here. Can I get these on here? Um, I did make a sample with, like I was just saying, with the 1.5 millimeter cord. And I'm just 
admiring it. And I think I have to make a second one. And I, those are just good things <laughs> for me. Yes. And the good news is it's so fast. You could probably do it and be done today. <laughs> yes. It's like a wear them today. It's not even a wear them today. Make them today, wear them tomorrow. It's a make them today, wear them today. Yeah. Almost yeah. instant gratification. Right. To see it. All right. I've got these, I have vacation nails. I just came back from vacation. So I've got my nails all pretty and I'm not used to them. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's awesome. And that's a 1.5 millimeter cord. And you yes. use, use the twisted spacer. Mm -hmm. That, that looks great. pretty nice on there. And it adds a little mm -hmm. bit of texture. So that's fun. So I just would have to trim this to the length I want. Mm -hmm. I would even add a little seed bead at the end and not at the end. Yeah. The color. Yeah. So the kits are a great jump off point. You know, we love that they're, they're approachable for beginning crafters. Um, they make great gifts. Um, and then, I mean, it's a great, it's a gateway gift. If you, give it to somebody, <laughs> you give it to a young person or something and just get them hooked in jewelry making, right? Sure. I love that. And yeah. I love the kids too, especially like for Christmas, they make such excellent little like stocking stuffers. Yeah. Um, yep. yep. Such yep. great little, or like for Easter, put it in an Easter basket. <laughs> That's a good idea. So wonderful kit. So that is available at artbeads.com. I put shopping links in the comments, but if you need further help finding things, please ask us. Um, mm -hmm. And there's even more inspiration at tiaracast.com. Um, they have some wonderful projects there as well for using their components. Um, love the inspiration there. Yeah. Hey, Becky, I'm going to, if I can do it without... Uh fouling us up, we might get a echo here. I'm, I'm what I'm doing here, since I can't comment, or can I? I can't comment in our, in you might our, be able to. can you see the comment? I can, but I don't think I can um, comment in them, but I can pull up the video on Facebook and, um, and comment there, because what I would like to do, hold on, this might, this might get us duplicate sound. if I can get it to load up. Um, what I want to do is, is plug in a blog post that we did that tells people about um, all about the stitches and about the different, um, the different uh, stitches and beads that we tested it with. Uh, I just wanna throw that blog post link in there. That would um, be super helpful. Yeah, for people. It's just, oh, here we go. Nope, that's last week's, that's you last week. <laughs> Oh, I will do it. Um, I will find, um, I can't get the uh, streams to start, to start on Facebook so that I could throw that um, no thing. Worries. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe I, maybe I successfully did it. Mm -hmm. I can't get it to start the, um, the video, but at least I threw it in the link. I mean, I threw it in the comments. So that should be there. Um, so hopefully you guys can find that because it's a really informative. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, really informative bunch of stuff about that product group. Perfect. Jonathan's yeah. asking, what is the name of the stone with all the colors? This is a uh, mixed impression Jasper um, or Mardi Gras Jasper. Um, yeah, and it has a lot of fun colors. So that would be a fun one to mix with your leather. Rita's saying it would also be great to use hemp cord or silk cord. That would be fun. I love those. Yeah, little, small adjustments to just get um, different um, different flavors to the design. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. So that was a great introduction to the Tierra Cast mm -hmm. Spring Roundup collection. I can't wait to use all of those pieces. The they're so great because you can use them in so many different ways. And it's really inspiring to get started and kind of jump in with all of those. It, it really sparks the imagination. I want to use them all. <laughs> oh, you no. Know, can I show? Yes. <gasps> Let me switch my camera again. I forgot that I have um, designs sitting here that we actually created for yes. the newest launch with some good seed bead. I'd love to see that. Oh, oh yes. Bead examples. Um, so this one, this one is very interesting because 
um, originally there was going to be a new cord end, you know, a, a round cord mm -hmm. type of end in the group, but um, it just didn't come through in production. And so, but in the meantime, I had started this netted bracelet because I was going to use it with that new cord end. Mm -hmm. And then the cord end, the cord end was like no go. So I didn't want to just throw this bracelet out. So I adapted it and put the two loop a magnetic on it. Gorgeous. And I'm so proud of myself for this. Yeah. Like, how am I going to make this round design fit on a square clasp? And um, that's beautiful. It, it looks like it was made for that. It, it came, it was pretty successful. I'm pretty thrilled with it. Um, and then this one also, um, oh, this, wow. I love this. It is not my design. It's um, a designer named Kara, whose last name is not going to come to me because it's a, I think it's a, a Russian last name. Um, but she's got a website called karasbeads.com and she does okay. see, she does seed bead patterns. And so this is one of Kara's designs, but I had seen her posted originally with, she had a couple of different clasps going on with it and it was perfect timing. I said, I can use this design with one of our new three loops. So um, it's amazing. So this shows you, you know, this is all, these are all size 11 seed beads here. Um, and, you know, we designed this so that the beads would fit in between, but it also just works to stitch to attach. Yeah. So I think that this bracelet is a super good example of that. Yeah, so, that's kind of a different way to do it. I love yeah. that. That's so cool. That's beautiful. Yeah. Great. Well, we love more inspiration. Beautiful. Yeah, Sam says, y'all brought so much inspo. Yay! That's, Yay. Cool. that's, a, that's, that's what we're here cool. for. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tracy, for joining me today. Uh, love seeing these new pieces. Again, they're all available at artbeats.com. I've got shopping links in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure to get that kit as well for the Western Lace earrings. Mm -hmm. I saw they're quick and easy to do. They're so much fun. So definitely check those out now. Yeah, I'm so happy to um, have been able to come on, Becky. We love to tell our art bead shoppers, you know, to be able to talk to them about all the new stuff. So Yay. well, thank you. And we always love having you. It's always a good time when you're yeah. here. With us. We do have fun, don't we, Becky? Yes, we do. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much. And um, Make sure to shop those wonderful new TRCast pieces, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Becky. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it was helpful and inspiring. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment so we know you watched, and to let us know what you'd like to see next. We love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.